Hi guys, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, before I even start, first of all, thank you so much for the love that I've gotten on my campus to a video for Lavasa campus as well as the student accommodation. Today is my third and my last day in Lavasa. So I thought of covering things to do around Lavasa because generally a lot of people are asking me about well, how is the life around Lavasa, what do kids do, uh, where do they chill, parties, relax, all of that. So I thought of covering that today. But before I even do that, right now I'm standing at the bridge of Lavasa. This you can even see as the entry point to Lavasa. And in the evenings I see a lot of students walking here. Behind me here is the most beautiful lake of Lavasa around which the whole of Lavasa is situated. It looks very peaceful and mesmerizing. In some time from now, the sun will go down and it will become even prettier. By the way, just to give you guys context, so that lane that you see, right, with the colorful buildings, that's the Portofino street. And that's where the student ac uh, accommodation, like the apartment ones are there, both for boys and girls. And on the other side, there uh, are the villas. That's the Hillview street and the school street, all of that. That's where the villa villas are situated. And somewhere behind that, uh, in the middle is where Christ University's campus is. Right now you can see like uh, boating is going on and that's what I'm going to be doing the first thing. Today I'm going to become a complete tourist to Lavasa and explore around. So hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you watch this video till the very end. Let's get started. Just before boating guys, take a tour of the famous lake of Lavasa. Guys, I'm on the speedboat and I'm really enjoying being a tourist here and uh, the view is very beautiful. Even for the students who are watching this, I'm pretty sure do it, they'll do it once at least, uh, once they're in Lavasa. And uh, you guys enjoy the scenic view of Lavasa. Guys, I'm done with boating now and I'm heading to the market and let's see what they have in the market. Come. Guys, here is the market which is usually filled with Christites. Honestly speaking, the whole of Lavasa, hi. The whole of Lavasa looks like it's Christ University's campus only because it's just filled with Christ University students. Uh, come, let's take a tour of the market. So here you have the cycles which you can rent, which you guys should definitely do if you want to like tour around Lavasa. A lot of students already have their personal vehicles. Either they've gotten cars or activas to transport around. Here you see uh, a lot of these dhabas. I'll also try coming back in the evening because from the past two days I'm coming in the evening and it's literally filled with just students. These dhabas will really help you get uh, close to home food. I have not eaten here so I cannot really vouch for the food. There are also departmental store for your basic grocery needs uh, from bread to butter to jam to biscuits and chocolate. All of these trust me get their major revenue from Christ only. Here is one uh, the name of which I've heard a lot from Christ University Lavasa students, which is Popsicles. They also have another branch somewhere else, which I'll take you next. But the Popsicles Cafe is good, is what I've heard. Other than that, there's Ashirwad and Triple Four Five Cafe and Snacks, Hotel Yuvraj, all of those. These are mini dhabas where kids come for the mini bites or probably to eat at night. All of them have also got like uh, desi dhaba why They have like chairs and table outside and you'll see Christite sitting around and chilling and having fun in the evening. Guys, 
guys, this is a very famous spot of Lavasa because this is where a lot of the scenes of Jeho movie were shot here, and that's how like I came to know about it from students only. Guys, behind me is the very famous bridge of Lavasa because both on the left and the right you have the lake. I'll show you guys towards the top. In the evening, guys, I kid you not, this whole area is just filled with Christchurch. We're having a good time, taking a view of the lake around. Another very good thing, guys, like this all looks very like foreignish, and that's how like Lavasa was planned to be. And uh, come, I'll give you a tour from the top. So all of this area that you see and the restaurants, they're all cafes and restaurants. Christ sites are there always, and then this is the lake, and this is where we were doing the boating before. This is the major attraction for students. Students, in the sense, like they spend a lot of time here because after college in the evening, getting some quick bite, chatting with your friends, meeting new people, it all happens here. Even this side, guys, are restaurants only. They all cafe, some with Indian food, some with Chinese, some with continental, all of that. Like spot and so romantic, like with like the trees across. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would take pictures here. These were the benches I was talking about. This is where kids sit in the huddle and take a walk or sit in the walk. me walking towards the end and all covering all the places now i'm walking towards the other side because here also a lot of tourist attractions are there and student attractions are there so we'll walk loving the view and the breeze like even though the sun is out you literally cannot feel the sun i swear if it breathes like if there's more wind i might just run Popsicles. Right now it's closed, but in the evening it again opens up. And around this also a lot of students will be sitting in the evening. I mean, I don't know if students feel the same vibe as I am feeling because, like, I am a tourist, and students are going to be here all the three years for normal courses and five years for law courses. And two years for MSc courses, but I am actually enjoying it. I'm taking a mini break from the tour around Lavasa right now because I just wanted to stop for a while, sit and enjoy the view and everything. By the way, students and anybody else is not allowed to sit here because the guards will come and stop and ask you to get down. So I'm just gonna wait till the guards actually come and catch me. But behind me, these kiosks that you see or the cafes. They are pretty famous amongst Christites, specifically Venkis, because that's where a lot of them come uh, to drink their juices and eat and relax. And yeah, I'm just gonna take a break. Guys, we are on the top, one of the topmost points of Lavasa city. This is called the Panoramic Street. That's even above the School Street, Hill Street, all of that. We are here to show you guys like a very good view of Lavasa. Students usually walk up here or get their activas and cars towards the top just to have a good time. Around me here are private villas, uh, which like private people and uh, individuals have booked. Some of them have booked it just for their residential purposes. Some of them have booked it just like for the gateways. Some rich people from like Pune and Dubai have done that. We are on the topmost point of Lavasa on the panoramic street. 
have a view of the whole of the Lavasa city. I am now exactly opposite to the panoramic street that I showed you there. Uh, it's the other side of Lavasa. This area, this is called Ekant, which is again on the topmost area on this side. They, it's a resort which is pretty famous here. At the same time, they have very good food, so kids usually do come in here to eat. I myself uh, also might eat something because I'm hungry. Uh, let's just go check out. All right, guys. Another very important thing after talking to a lot of students I realized is that a lot of students here are into trekking and it's become a very cool thing in these days and generally a lot of people have fallen in love with trekking. Uh, if you are anyways into trekking you will love Lavasa because this right here is the starting point to a lot of treks that are taken from Lavasa. There are treks that will go across the whole hill of Lavasa and end you guys towards the hill view or the panoramic view. So this is a great trekking point and there are a lot of treks that happen at Lavasa. Guys, just below Ekant is Antariksh, behind me there. Uh, Antariksh is also a good resort. At the same time, it has great food, so a lot of price sites come here as well. I'm taking you to a very famous sunset uh, point, so come, let's go there. Guys, so this is the sunset point of Lavasa, which is very famous among students. Uh, they do come here to enjoy the sunset. We are like 10 minutes early for the sunset, but still the view from here looks amazing. It's windy and it's breezy. Other very important information that I want to give you guys. See, I'm getting a lot of queries from people asking like usually how the day goes around. So for Christ sites, like they're usually very busy at Christ itself. And like that's the best way to keep yourself engaged because otherwise you might just feel lonely or bored here in Lavasa. So usually the college would get over around 4, 4, 15. After that, sports and other activities start around 6 or even before that. And then you're just busy uh, preparing or, you know, practicing for your dance or preparing for your, uh, you know, sports or doing whatever. That goes on till 8, 8.30. After that, usually people are busy with their preparing for their CIAs or mid -SAMs or end -SAMs. Like, Christ University will keep you very busy. They are very famous for that. Other than that, sometimes if you get free early, you can take a stroll in the market that I showed you or the promenade area. They would just chill around, take a walk, all that. And on some unusual days, you can come for trekking or you guys can, you know, go around and come visit this sunset spot. All that you can do. Uh, along with that, for weekends, guys, the best thing is that usually students go down to Pune, which is two hours away. And the best thing is that Christ University themselves will provide you with buses for that. They have different buses at different times. After Saturday, after college, these buses will leave for Pune and they only come back uh, on Sunday afternoon, evening time around 4 or 5. You have to book your slot in the bus to get a seat there. Other than that, like I said, kids have their personal vehicles as well. Either their active hours or the cars, so they can do that. A lot of the taxis are here available as well. So you can book the taxi, go down with your friends, enjoy some good Tagala time in Pune itself and then come back. That's usually how it goes around. And that's how kids pass their time in Lavasa. Guys will anyways keep you very busy for whatever limited time that you are left with. Uh, these are the things that you can do in Lavasa. Usually I've seen just kids chilling around in promenade area, walking around there and having a good time with their friends. Uh, and then other time is at Christ University and that's the best thing to do. So yes guys, that is it about the video regarding the things to do around Christ University and around Lavasa. This is my last day here so I'm already feeling a little sad that I'm going to be leaving Lavasa because I had a great time shooting this series for all you people. If you guys like this video, please smash the like button. Please comment below if you have any doubts, questions, queries. I can make another video if there's anything that you guys want to know about. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you guys get regular updates from me. Uh, I'll enjoy the sunset guys. Take care. Bye-bye.